All right, what's going on, guys? This is Sona64, and this recording is also being done from my phone. I say also, like all my recordings, or most of them, are done from my phone. No, I like recording from my phone sometimes because I can do it in like a relaxed position, but mostly because I don't have the recording set up set up on my uh, computer right now. I was using Sony Vegas for the longest time, and now I'm not because. Well, I just haven't set it up. And maybe I just feel bad and guilty because I've, like, had the illegal version of it for so long. It's like, why can't I just use normal software and be a legitimate video editor, you know? Or whatever, you know? I'm just too lazy to put it on my computer. That could be it. But anyways, um, what I want to talk about is minimalist lifestyles uh, that sounds weird like how is that a topic minimalist lifestyles but i guess i want to talk about me in reference to i don't know my dad or anybody else people that like to keep things for long periods of time and don't get me wrong i have a good amount of stuff like i have things that i've had since I was 12, you know, I have a, a journal, which I don't write in, but I still have it. I have a box of things I've kept over the years, but that's really just it. Just a box of things I've kept over the last, um, what did I say, a couple of years or not a couple, I guess since I was 12, just in a box. Whereas my dad, he'll keep things that he's had a majority of his life. And maybe it's because he's older, so he can't really get rid of some of this stuff because it has meaning and attachment to it but the thing is like for me i don't really keep a lot of things i tend to let go a lot easier and when i say let go i mean let go of uh things and material objects i don't mean like people because people are um a little less replaceable and a little more irreplaceable i mean I miss my mom every day, right? Uh, you can't replace her. I mean, you know, my dad could start seeing somebody, but no one's going to replace my mother. And no one's going to replace your mother either, or your father, or your sister, or any other person. But things and stuff, they can all be replaced. I mean, not to the same extent as, like, a gallon of milk. <laughs> but, you know, let's say... A keyboard or a photo you know we take photos like we change underwear you know some girls will take five or six photos a day you know so and saving everything while it's nice to be able to do that they don't all have as much meaning and to me like the other day I was going through my phone and I was deleting photos that I had and uh, my friend was like why are you deleting those why don't you save them and you know to me, like, half of them are screenshots, so... And screenshots are mostly just to show other people at that moment in time, but I have no reason to keep screenshots, because I know I have some screenshots from a couple years ago, computer screenshots, not phone screenshots, that I have, and, you know, I look at them, and I'm like, well, what was I trying to show, or what was I doing, or who was I showing it to? It's like, it serves no purpose for me to have it. So, screenshots aside... There are some, like, photos I've taken of me that I either don't like or, you know, they just don't mean anything. Like, they were just m photos in the moment that I took to show somebody. But they weren't really special. Like, I don't look the best. I, it wasn't the best moment in my life. It wasn't the worst either. But it's just an extra photo of me on my phone taking up space or something for me to look at. Which is, you know, it's nice if you want to, like, look at parts of you or, or you know, just, you know, reminisce from a time back. But... For me, I don't really do that as much. In fact, this this whole YouTube thing is what I used to do that. Like, I'll chronicle moments and times in my life when I feel a certain way or certain things happen or I want to showcase a something, you know? Because, you know, YouTube lets you put things in video format. In fact, I could just do a collage of photos rather than putting gameplay behind a video, which I, I'm assuming I'm doing now. But letting go of photos and material objects like, I don't know, homework from third grade, it's because it's just replaceable. It's, I mean, replaceable in the sense that I could reproduce it, you know, in a different form. And if it didn't really have a special effect on me, it's like no reason in me keeping it. So I don't really keep things as much as other people. I, I like to be, I like to be, you know, live small, you know, just have a few things. Because like when you move, 
you got to take a lot of stuff with you. Nobody likes moving because you have to move a lot of stuff. So it's a lot easier for me to like move myself too because I have so little things. Anyways, um, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. And if you guys, you know, want to talk about how you guys live and if you guys are hoarders or, you know, you only have maybe like three things that are actually really special to you, you know, you can talk about it in the comments. And I like to respond and see what you guys have to say. So thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.